Mr. Speaker, members, back to my explanation. This amendment is modeled after the unified city ordinance adopted by over 50 cities across the state. They're Dallas, Houston, Longview, Midland, Flower Mound, Amarillo, Denton, San Angelo, and several others. And basically what this, this is, is back in 1987, back, back in 1987. The House will come to order. Back in 1987, the legislature created Credit Service Organization Act, and it adopted this as a consumer protection item. And what this did was this. It allowed people that had credit problems to use a provision in the law to clean up their credit problems. But instead, we've allowed payday lending and auto title lending companies to Mr. use Speaker. this as a means to to evade our usury laws in the state of Texas. Mr. Capriglio, yeah. for what purpose? Uh, I'd like to ask uh, Dean Craddock a few questions, if Mr. I may. Craddock, do, you do you mind if I finish, then I'll sure. be glad Not to this time. Sure. And so what this does, it just codify, codifies what a lot of these cities have done across the state and what's being looked at at the federal level. And what's being looked at at the federal level is to do away with these loans. And we've got loans in this area that they are average about 500% interest per year. And this just simply makes it worse. They're all the loans that they do with the fees and whatever are, uh, that are associated or affordable to Texas families. That's basically what it does. It's, or as many people know, it's the payday lending amendment. 